Hello, this is Dr. Ben Finio, and in this video, I will be comparing audio quality between a $25 Logitech USB headset, a $50 Logitech USB webcam, and a $120 Blue Yeti microphone. So if, like me, you suddenly find yourself working from home and either teaching classes online, making YouTube videos, or just doing a whole bunch of Zoom meetings, then hopefully you'll find this video useful. So let's start out with the headset. I think the audio quality on this is definitely not great. You'll notice if I stop speaking, there is a pretty prominent buzzing noise in the background. I also get a lot of lip smacking and kind of gross, wet sounding noises from having the mic this close to my mouth. I can kind of get rid of that by moving it down a little bit, but then of course it's going to get quieter. So if I go on Amazon and check, I think I bought this almost 10 years ago at Best Buy but it looks like it's still kind of the same thing for about the same price on Amazon, $25 for one, or maybe on sale, normally $40, but now on sale for $25, so somewhere in that range. So I would definitely say if you only have $25 to $40-ish to spend, you probably don't want to go with this headset. I'm sure there are better ones out there in that price range, and again, there's a lot of advice out there on YouTube, people doing reviews of different headsets and things. So maybe this would be okay for meetings, but if you are recording lectures or making YouTube videos or something, you probably want to try and either spend a little more money or go with a better headset in this range. I wouldn't really recommend this one. So next, let's switch over to the webcam. This, again, I bought a few years ago. It's only 720p, so if you're looking into a newer webcam now or you want to do an HD video broadcast, you would probably want to get at least 1080p, if not 4K, but I'm primarily focused on the audio quality here, so this one is about... $50, and I think I immediately noticed that the audio for my voice does sound better than it did with the headset. I'm not getting that background buzzing noise, and I'm not getting the gross lip smacking noises, but the downside, you'll notice that, again, since the microphone is farther away, I think I'm getting a bit more of an echo and kind of a room feel to it. Part of that is a problem with the room I'm in. I'm in a small rectangular room with a lot of hard surfaces, so no curtains, no carpet, nothing to really dampen the reflections. So again, there's a ton of professional advice on YouTube about how you can really set up a home studio. I did buy some acoustic foam that I might set up in a future video to see if that makes a difference, but if you're teaching at home, you don't have a home office, you're just doing this from your kitchen or your living room or wherever is available and you can't really set up that audio environment then again, I just want to look at what the raw audio from the device is like, since that's the scenario a lot of people who are teaching might be using. So again, I think this definitely sounds better than that headset did, but it's still not ideal if you are going to be making a lot of recordings that are going to be posted online for the long term. Finally, let's switch over to the Blue Yeti, which you can see I have on the desk in front of me here. So about one palm width from my face. And I believe I got this on sale for $100 last year. Normally, it's about $120 on Amazon. This came to me highly recommended by someone at Cornell who had already taught a lot of online classes even before the COVID-19 pandemic. And again, for people doing professional quality recording, $120 for a microphone is probably much more on the cheaper end compared to mics that could be hundreds or thousands of dollars. But if you're coming from just using the built-in mic on your laptop, then over $100 is a lot. But... I definitely think this sounds noticeably better than either the headset or the webcam, so it's not getting the gross lip smacking or buzzing noises from the headset, and the background echo or hum from the room doesn't seem as bad as it was with the webcam. It is still sort of there if you listen carefully, but again, I think that's an issue with the room I'm in that I might be able to adjust with some acoustic foam or changes to the room layout. So I definitely think if you're doing a lot of recording and making YouTube videos or posting lectures online, especially if you can get your department or your school to buy it for you, then this mic could easily be worth it. But if it's your money and you're talking about spending $120 versus $50, then maybe that could be sort of marginal as to whether that slight additional improvement in the audio quality is worth it. It's definitely not that you couldn't understand me with the webcam or the headset. It's just there were some distracting aspects to the audio. So... I definitely think this is nice. I'm glad I have it. But again, if you're spending your own money, it may or may not be worth it. So let's run through all those options one more time so you can do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. I'm just going to use my intro line on each device. Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Cornell University recording on a Logitech USB headset. Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Cornell University recording on a Logitech C310 webcam. Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Cornell University recording on a Blue Yeti USB microphone. 
So that's it. Again, this is really not even getting your feet wet in the world of audio recording. I am not an expert on this, and there is a wealth of information out there on YouTube and elsewhere. There are other things I could have done with post-processing my audio or changing the room layout to make it better for recording, but I really wanted to address just the bare minimum of the audio differences between these three different devices. I'm not going to do that YouTube thing where I ramble for another five minutes to get this video past the 10 minute mark. So that's it. If you have a question or your own suggestions on home audio recording, especially for online teaching or recording lectures, please leave a comment. Thank you.